What's up, everybody? It's Joe LaPuma. You were listening. You were watching the Complex Sneakers podcast. As always, I'm with my two guys. First off to my right, Mr. Matt Welty. I feel like we've all like reconnected somehow after like adventures, but not really. I don't know why. Ah, I don't think I had one. My man to the left did. Lady in the Gramps. Well, you're shouting Ten years the... running champions. I don't know if that's true, but that's <laughs> what we're saying. Just making stuff Ten, up. He had another gold medal performance at um, like Coast. Hood to Coast. I love that. Thank Lady you for in the, the Gramps. I've been studying. I made, wow. I'm trying out. I'm going to try out. I'm really? back you in the gym. Really, you want a slot on the team? It's a very competitive team, Joe. I don't know if I could handle We're not that it, fast. But... Mr. Brennan Dunn to my left. That's fresh why. Off. That's why. I don't know. I don't Came know how fresh I feel. Came back with the gold medal and some leaks too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Came back, Came back and from some sunburn. Portland, no, yeah, right? I was gonna. I was yeah, gonna say. I, saw I, that. I was gonna say gold medal, red nose. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. You bring me up and you bring me down. Um, Not me. This I'm is, always. This is one of the rare moments where you know a lot of times I'll be like, oh, if you, if you're listening to the to the audio, go to the YouTube so you can see. If you're watching the YouTube, turn it off so you can't see my blistered red face. I don't think it looks. Uh, I was I scorched. Think. I was scorched out there in the seaside beach. For people who don't know, this is the Hood to Coast relay, 199 miles, the mother of all relays. You're is right. It, is it 10? How, how does it work? There's like 12 a, people on the team, two vans, tackling, three it goes, legs each. Does it go overnight? Oh, yeah. And you all run one leg? Is we all, each person runs three legs. You were There's the anchor. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I was. So I you ended. It you yeah. crossed the finish. And then I hopped right in the Pacific Ocean. Boy. The, the, the said, land where I come from. You said it's like five miles or something like that. Each leg, on average, maybe maybe five or six. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think I ran seventeen miles over the course of three legs. Pretty so. good. And then we beat our time from last year. Okay, that's a PB. In that, I ran track PB personal best. Yeah. You also had a PB. I saw it. Oh, four fifteen deadlift. Don't think yeah. that I'm not tuned in. Wow, to these guys. Jesus. You know, like we were talking about. Thank o you for Odell. celebrating our achievements. We were Joe. talking about Odell. We, we need him to we, him university, okay? <laughs> we were talking about Odell before, but 415 deadlift. He's hitting the Hood Coast gold medal repeat. Still don't know if that's true, but I'm putting it out there. So, so I wish I could name everybody on the team right now, but I won't. Go. I don't know. Okay. I, no, I, they know who they are. It's a big group I saw. They know who they are. Was there the, am I bugging? Was there the picture of Odell recreating um, the sweater picture? Uh, I saw something. What's I don't know. I don't picture? know what the sweater. What you know, if you, you know the one where like the guy gets roasted for wearing? It's like he's like, but it's high fashion though, and he has like that green furry uh, oh, sweater. Oh yeah, on. yeah, yeah. I think there was he's like I, this is Marnie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one. I, th I, th I swore there was Odell you wearing, might be this, right. wearing the same sweater, but I, I don't. I don't want to get too off topic here because we have to celebrate an achievement of our own Joe Puma as well. What did I do? Because you were getting some fucking buckets this weekend. Get buckets. I did oh, get yes. They did you get, did, did people soul? see this viral listen, video of Joe LaPuma? Because here's the listen, thing. Yeah, viral video. Oh, yeah. my God. This what? thing was everywhere. I, I saw the video, and I said, wow, Joe hit that shot one try. Yeah. And then he then texted released, us on the side, right, Welty? Yes. They released the tapes. He said, make sure you watch the full video full version where Joe Joe hit like five free throws in a row. So, I didn't see a miss. Was, so, that the, was, that the, wait, was that the first try, or was there any warm-ups? Okay, so I'm going to tell you this was, the whole story. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the whole story. And, and, and also, eventually we'll talk about sneakers. Yes. Eventually, maybe. Um, we definitely will talk about sneakers. I want to get everyone's at right. Okay. okay. So go to Got Soul, did a walkthrough in Jersey. Convention. In New at Jersey. The sneak, yep, Jersey Sneaker Convention. Your area. PG actually was there. I heard that. Yeah, PG Instagrammed. I got recognized a lot. He's him. Him. Paul did? Yeah, he said, no. I think he wrote, need 10K for the podcast appearance now. I think I think he I actually, hope, I think he I actually hope he said, wasn't talking about us. Where's my camp PG? Talking th about us? I think he said he walked around to some extent and he would like he wasn't sure if people people weren't sure if it was him or not, because he doesn't really like post himself yeah, yeah, as yeah. much. Okay, so this is what happened. I walked through. Just it was just like you know, complex con. We walked through. Yeah. Got on stage. Hordes of fans following you. Around. Yeah. Got on stage and you know hyped the crowd up a little bit. You got on the mic. Yeah, got on the mic for you said a little fuck bit. The free world. <laughs> no, God. shots to my ops. Um, but um, what was I gonna say? Uh, That's all you get. <laughs> so so then there was a basketball hoop and I was I was caught off guard. The host uh, the host Jonathan. Of God's soul, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, let's do a competition, me and you. I was like, you, if you think I'm gonna be on camera, airballing, that's and that's gonna go Mexico. viral. Yeah. Remember, you know, yeah, you know, the, complex con. No, but also I think oh, like the dunk, or like oh, thereof. right, right. Yeah. But, but listen, there's some footage that gets destroyed at like basketball camp sometimes. If it's, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. so if I was like, if you think that you're, there's tons of also tons of cameras, like mm -hmm. uh, camera phones. I was like, you think I'm doing a competition on camera and I'm gonna be airballing. You're dead wrong. But then I did it. 
Then I did it. And it wasn't an official competition. Four in a row. Didn't hit the backboard once. No, yeah, Didn't hit the water. backboard once. We'll put the video in. But it's also good because Max Struss from the Miami Heat uh, was balling in the summer league. And people were adding me like, oh, Joe LaPuma getting buckets like four days before. <laughs> oh. So it was like a full. It was a full oh, you know. I, I really huh. lived up to the, to the Max Struss. Game of horse. You versus DJ Khaled. Who's winning? Um... You I right? Think, I think yeah. yeah. I, I have a good. I have a good shot. I think. I had no idea. I have a good did shot. Did you know that? Did what? you know that? Well, that he was. Did he no, I, no, I didn't. So I, wet from behind. I, I, I was just happy I didn't hit the backboard well, once. Every it time was all net. I every went four for five. Just, just to keep it okay. legit. Four for five. The other guy, Jonathan, who had me, went two for five. I won the competition. It wasn't a competition, but it was, and I won. I think every time we had talked about basketball, <laughs> yeah, right? No, I think every time we had talked about basketball, <laughs> you said you're like, oh, may not have buckets, but like may not show up in the stat line, but make uh, all yeah. the fundamentals right. Mm -hmm. However, on this day. Also, there. I didn't get to bring this up the time it got talked about, and I just need to huh. drop this out here because to, to set the record straight or anything. Because I know our friend Premium Pete's the king of wanting to roast me on playing basketball, but there was a second Foot Locker basketball event that we got invited to, I think, like two years after. After the famous one with after, you playing at the Garden. Yeah, but this was at um, the Terminal 23, the yeah. Jordan uh, brand event. And it was through full, I mean, maybe space right by the garden. Do they yeah. still have that? No. Okay. And they had like a barber shop and arcade and a lounge and yeah. all that sort of stuff in there. They but, never invited me. But there was a three point shooting contest. You won. Uh, like two years after. No, but I beat Pete. So. Ah. Oh. You did. Okay, yes. Okay. So look, here's the thing. Do you know the meme of the kid who can't hold in what he's about to say? Yeah, How with have the, we been with talking about basketball and you haven't brought up Steph Curry that you almost beat him in horse that you always the guy with bring, the vein popping out of his yeah forehead, that you right? always bring up we haven't you haven't brought that up no humble humble our humble king <laughs> <laughs> like I always say all right so yeah that was the oh weekend goodness. listen a lot of athletic achievements across the three of us I saw yeah. the deadlift yeah can oh. you can you can you let the can you let the clips. Run a little. I want to see after because as oh. soon as though, yeah, <laughs> I, I, know that, no, I know that there I don't was, know if you're there was, the there dab, was, but what are you doing after? No, because no, the no, weights hit no. and then it gets cut off. I want to see after. No, because <laughs> the thing, the thing that I'm just, you have to watch it sometimes because it's like if you want to put it on IG, you don't want it to be like three uh, stories or whatever three frames. Yeah, yeah. So you just do the one. There is. I'll, I'll send you the extended. Okay, that's clip. what I want to wow, see. Yeah, I was hyped though because. The the guy I trained with, or the owner of the gym, he threw on uh, Jay Z. Jay Z, I yep, love the dough, and that yeah, like, I heard it. if there was any song for me to get you like hyped up, that's the one. Hit it, dude. When that came on, I was like, I know I'm gonna hit this. Could have right went now. for five fifteen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sneaker stuff over the weekend. Yeah. What do we got? Um, I know I said that I had given away a lot of shoes, mm -hmm. but I finally like I purged a lot of stuff. Yeah, but I hadn't gotten around to like reorganizing. Okay. Everything so a lot of stuff got is gone, Thank but God. I hadn't like gone through and like, yeah 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 sorted it all out sorted it all out and then when I finally did that, I realized how much extra space I had and I'm like, oh my God, this feels so good. Did you like, immediately like put stuff in the extra space or now it's just you have extra space? It just have extra space and fa obviously we spoke about this before. Yeah, have a lot of shoes that um. You forgot about you yeah. know where you're like oh wow that moment after you reorganize and you look everybody listening watching this take some time and redo your sneaker situation get rid of some stuff yeah get the boxes on so nice. many things you for good and bad that yeah. you forget about there's so many things that you're like i forgot i had this shoe from five years ago and i can get rid of it now mm -hmm. just like big week for that too uh gerald our friend gerald mm -hmm. wrote the interview Tom Sachs and they and basically for Esquire, yeah, right? for Esquire, and I think he he said you know three thousand words on Tom Sachs, and there was like talk about how you don't need a ton of shoes in there, and then I even think our other friend John Marcello was like for the past two years I've been thinking about this essentially like consolidating, and it feels so good, yeah, it really does, or even. Like, I think the consolidating helps, but also, like I said, just, like, the reorganizing mm -hmm. of it makes – like, sometimes when you have so many shoes, sometimes they can easily kind of, like, become a mess. Yeah. You know, where it's just boxes everywhere. Yeah. But then when you kind of, like, put it all together, it doesn't feel so bad anymore yeah. either. For um, sure. Other thing that I need to, like, get out there because this – is I just – I've noticed today. So, I'm wearing a black and purple shirt today because I was going to wear a black and purple pair of sneakers. 
Oh, okay. It's purple. A little Anyways, faded, but that's okay. It's just a light purple. I okay. wouldn't have guessed that. No. Anyways, but I was going to wear a pair of black and purple Adidas sneakers this morning mm-hmm. that I hadn't worn before. Mm-hmm. Go to put them on. Like, I I have, like... This two, is the future Adidas CEO speaking I have, right like, 200 pairs of Adidas shoes at some point, or even more yeah. than that, right? I've worn a lot of Adidas shoes. Yeah. And Adidas shoes always fit bigger than Nike because... The sizing on Adidas is like translated from all like the European sizing, mm. so whatever. So like the UK, like a US 11 in Nike is a UK 10. Yeah, the discrepancy yeah, is different, but a right? U, but a US 11 in Adidas is a UK 10 and a half. Yeah. So the shoes always run big. I put on these shoes, the Supernova cushion or whatever. Yeah, the same one I wore recently. Dude, didn't, like, I wear half a size 11. All my Adidas shoes yeah. do not fit my feet. At all, not really? like they are like a full size small. Also, those Kerwin bounces, yeah, full size small. There's something going on. Do we need to bring the Brannick back? I up? was gonna say, uh, I mean, no, no, right no, 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 okay. no. Do we Brannick you right now? No, because <laughs> I wear eleven in like all my shoes, yeah, and they fit. These yeah. are eleven, they fit. Yeah, those shoes don't even come remotely close. Do you feel like Adidas is more all over the place with sizing than a Nike or a New Balance or a Reebok? Not they usually weren't. Yeah, but, um, but recently you feel like it's. There's these random shoes that I've bought recently. In the past two shoes that I've bought, yeah. or not, or received. I don't want to whatever. Yeah. Don't fit. It's they need to get their stuff together. You need to like I'm saying. This is your first order of business as the new CEO of Adidas. Put it on yeah. the docket. Put it on the docket. Has there <laughs> the shareholders any? will be happy about yeah, that. But know? I mean, isn't that kind of <laughs> just at the podium? And this is a problem we're <laughs> fixing today. I mean, isn't that kind of isn't that kind of disappointing? Because imagine sure. if you had like when you buy the shoe, when you invest the money in the shoe, and then you take it home and you put it you, on your foot. Especially you can't if you put it own, on your foot. If you own 150 pairs of sneakers, it's not like you need to like be like, "Oh, what size?" Like you pretty yeah. much know what size you are in shoes. And even if it's a little small, you're like, "Okay, I can get away with it." Yeah. These shoes like just don't fit my feet. Maybe you should have listened to Tom Sachs and just not had 150 pairs of shoes. I was going to say yeah. a little tiny violin was about to come out 150 <laughs> pairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's so how many like how many pairs so you what are you going to Well, it's do? just it's just the past two that I've like put yeah. on, they just don't fit, but I'm just like curious as as to like what's going on and like in the sizing discrepancy of like what's like it's clear someone along the way is not using the right sizing or lasts mm. or molds for the shoes or when they're recreating these shoes they're like yeah recreating them wrong yeah so i'm just like curious as to why that's happening yeah, yeah. so whoever's watching this who's making the last on those shoes if you're watching this they are Go back and check your work twice. <laughs> measure, measure twice, cut once, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> Joe, you said you got recognized a fair amount at the... God Soul? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. Yeah, because Wealthy said that, I think he, you had a moment today, right, where you felt like you deserved the, the head not, nod from a fellow commuter. and it, Not, <laughs> not did, today. Who was I, it? I, no, it's a... <laughs> um, actually, did get recognized along the way, but... Along that's the cool. commute? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's cool when that happens, you know. Yeah. It's, does it throw you off sometimes where you're not sure if it's someone who actually knows you or it's, like, yeah. someone who just happens to watch our show, which is cool. Yeah. But when you run into someone on the train yeah, and they have on, like, I don't know, like a, an Essentials, like, T-shirt and a pair of, like, ALD New Balance yeah. or, like, Union Dunks or something like that. And you just sit back and, and like, you look back and you're <laughs> okay, like, Hey, buddy, go ahead. You're yeah, like, this yeah, guy sure has to, this yeah, guy or girl. Speakers? Has to know who I am. Yeah. Oh wow, wow! <laughs> you know, but you're, you're that almost, was a you're, slow build, but okay. you're, all, you're, you're almost waiting okay. for it. Yeah, you're like, mm. and then you maybe take your mask off. Oh, like, yes, wow. I'm him. Um, the, yeah, you. you do. <laughs> well, there's no mask on, but oh. either ways, <laughs> we, don't do that. we don't do that around okay. here. Okay. Um, <laughs> either way, <laughs> keep going. Um, Coward voice. But you know how you, you, there's like the look that some people give you sometimes, where it's like. They kind of recognize you and they give you like the stare, but then they don't say anything to you. Yeah, for sure. But then you get the person who just, they don't like, just don't, you're just a random person to them. But you're like, damn, you're wearing Union Dunks in a Supreme t shirt and you don't watch our show. You know what that means? Either our show's irrelevant or sneaker culture has gotten this much bigger where we. You got to work harder. Yeah. You got to work harder. That's what it means. Nori said that, I think, with Jake Paul recently, that Jake Paul didn't watch Drink Champs, and Nori was like, it just means I got to work harder. So We're working pretty hard, Joe. I know. How much? 
<laughs> I, by the way, I do want to shout out. This is not quite mm-hmm. in, in in terms of being recognized, but just taking it back to Hood to Coast real quick and being out in Oregon. Always so grateful and filled with love, and all the all the friends and family I get to see out there, and also industry people and people we know. You know, went went by Index on Mikey over there. Ran into shots to Index. Chris Bevins at, at the Unless party. Bevins. Yeah, Chris um, Bevins. Yeah. I mean, my friend Bima, you know, some wonderful times with him. I went to the employee store, a guy named Coca, actually. He gave us some gifts. I forgot to bring him here today. But really? he makes these um, tissue boxes out of sneaker boxes. So wow. I, have some, I have some to share with That's all cool. of us. But, you know, I just I just love being out there. and um, Make it to campus or? Um, I didn't make it to campus. I don't know. <laughs> his, I don't know if they have my poster. His access starts the... and stops at the employee <laughs> yeah. store. I don't know, I don't know if like in the, in the, the security booth yeah. right before they have like a poster of like, do not admit this exactly. man. <laughs> ever, ever since your uh, kibosh uh, story. Wow, well, I was just going to bring that up. What, that when, I, been when a... I tried to go to camp? No, no, no. no, I know. The, the employee, the, that would have been a great story, About by the, way. the woman in the Drake video. Oh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. You interviewed her and then they didn't want to run it. Yeah, there was the Drake Laugh Now, Cry Later. That's yeah. what that song's mm-hmm. called. Yeah, the the famous video that he shot on Nike campus. And I had interviewed the model who's in that video opposite him. I forget her name. And, you know, talked to her on a record, recorded this it, was whatever. Like the day or two after like, the yeah, video Yeah, you know, getting, getting to work, just yeah. like we do around here. Um, And right afterward... Her manager called me and was like, "We signed an NDA. You can't, you can't publish this." And I was like, "Actually, I can publish it because we already recorded the thing and I have your consent." But basically, it was this thing of like, "Do we run this interview and ruin, you know, this person's reputation?" And you know, she appeared in the Drake video. She signed the NDA. She wasn't supposed to talk to me about it. It wasn't a Nike thing. It was just her manager freaking out and also her being like, "You can't run this." And I was like, "You know what? I will do you this incredible favor. You know, I will." make this mm. this move of generosity and say sure we're not going to run the story because it wasn't like the most compelling thing ever but yeah it, like just this thing of like uh, do, is it worth the negative in these mm. people's lives for us to get the pot not that i've ever really considered <laughs> not, like that, that, not that the negative been, that would have been a good story though and it was like the day after right yeah yeah that would yeah, have been not that i've ever big brendan done energy yeah like, go ahead explain it what <laughs> no like you're just like all like the the people whose um professional <laughs> careers you've uh put uh you've um affected can we just say affected don't say ruined i wouldn't i'm not saying ruined that you've put consternation in is that a good is that a good way to phrase it <laughs> through my work yeah well this this model was spared oh wow that's the story of that there's, but there's few feelings worse than like when you interview someone and, and in your head it goes okay yeah but then there's some sort of like snafu along the way that happens all the time and it but you try to figure it out because sometimes it totally like ruins the. If I'm not saying relationship between yeah. you and that person, yeah. but like that person's not. You didn't do anything wrong, but that person's just like not co- like cool with you yeah, yeah, for yeah. whatever reason. Like going down. Like, I hate that, but it's like hey, whether you said they, it, the recorder they, was on. They said something that they didn't want to say. Yeah. Not that they didn't want to say, but. Um, that, very that, common. That they, they weren't didn't realize... thinking about the full ramifications of saying it to somebody who is going to publish it. Yeah, or they weren't happy with the headline on the story. Oh, my God. Weren't happy with a social post. I could give you two hours on this right now. Very common. <laughs> weren't, weren't happy with... It's so, so refreshing when people are like, oh, wow, we love it, though. You know? Yeah. I yeah. mean, ultimately, that stuff doesn't matter, but it is like an annoying you yeah. know, side effect. Ugh, yeah. <sighs> Should we give away some sneakers? It's time. Okay. What, what are we giving away today? Every week on the Complex Sneakers podcast, oh, we give yeah. away a free pair of sneakers with our friends at eBay Ooh. through their Authenticity Guarantee Program. You can go to ebay.complex.com to submit a question for mm-hmm. us. If we pick your nice question, box. if we respond to your question and answer it here on air, we're going to send you a free pair of sneakers from our good friends at eBay. Yeah. What are we giving away this week, Joe? We are giving away an OG classic. Okay. Sorry about are you the proud mic. of those? <laughs> America's Cup. Wow. I feel like this is the OG color... I know that we gave away the patent leather ones, right? I'm not sure, like, which came first. I know they're both, like, from that, that era, era or yeah. whatever. I wish I was more of a historian on this sneaker, but obviously a classic the shoe. Cul- such a the classic. Shout out to the cult. Culture, the culture, yeah, Cul- that, yeah, that Instagram yeah, account. We've mentioned yep. them on here before, but yeah, they do a great a- job cataloging some some history around the shoe. Just remember, if you had these, when people would come and finish line with these, you're like, man, that's a different level, right? Uh, just 
different different the, level. The one that I really liked that I've seen on that account, and I didn't even know that they made them back in the day, was there's like there's a suede version of mm, the America's really? Cup, and it it's the same shoe, but it just gives it a completely different like look to the shoe, mm. and it's something I'd like to wear. And you've seen like Lil Uzi Vert recently with like his whole collection. Of, of these of America's Cup. Yeah, and there's they're definitely a lot of different having iterations. Like a, they're definitely having like a resurgence to some degree. I love that. I love this question because it's topical for the time of year. Kids are going back to school. Mm -hmm. Summer's basically over. It's kind of a wrap. Mm -hmm. Chase Martinez from Chickasha, Oklahoma asks, what sneakers were popping when you, parentheses, the hosts were in high school? Mm -hmm. Now, this, you know, Jordans were always Jordans, obviously. Yeah. But like, I feel like there were distinct models that wherever depending where we were from mm -hmm. they were like big especially and you know and as an aside i texted you guys the n1 documentary i watched last night yeah i, I still haven't seen it they were saying it get, they got into footwear design basically yeah. footwear they always wanted to do footwear but they they did marbury's signature sneaker and then i think the first game he broke his ankle mm -hmm. and it was like they were like he was wearing N1s, and they were, like, shook about it. You said, did the professor talk about this? Uh, well, when we talked to the professor, we had the professor. Yeah. Grayson. Grayson. Yeah. Shouts to him. On one of the worst haircuts of all time. <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> on full-size run, on one of the remote episodes, one of those guys I wish I would have had in person. In yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, but did he talk about this or no? He talked a lot about the downfall of And One yeah. um, mm. and how they were – I think he said that they were releasing like signature models of his in China that he okay. didn't even know about. It's great, imagine. And like there was like that where they were just seeing their their faces everywhere, but and they weren't sure if they were getting paid for it. But that's that's I think yeah, what it, a lot of it came down. When to. When it comes or, from the, when it came to like the sneakers, they tried it with Marbury. He got hurt. Yeah, they like focused on the team and like yeah. the basketball they were blowing up and then they gave it another shot i believe and tai they did the tai chi yeah. and i remember the tai chi they were in these cardboard boxes vince black carter shoe. black lettering yep vince carter did the dunk contest but i remember how many we used to sell a finish yeah. on i i checked with rudy calderon of, of yeah ming fame. Yeah, ming fame of course and i was like didn't we sell a ton of these in finish line and mm -hmm. he was like we couldn't couldn't keep them in the in the stores and apparently one year the tai chi was basically very responsible for $65 million in footwear sales. When And Welty, I want to know, maybe the Tai Chi was, was it before you worked in footwear retail? So, yeah, yeah, I was so wondering wait, that. So it was one of those shoes that it was before I worked in footwear uh, retail. Mm -hmm. But when I worked at Dick's Sporting Goods, that was at the the end of the original run of And One. Okay. And there was just all these random clearance shoes out back that were like 1999 and you're like why aren't we getting any more and one product and it was just because like the brand basically had like gone out of business or yeah yeah whatever but i want to say it's 2009 or 2010 oh, okay. they had decided to it was the first time they had decided to retro the tai chi yeah mm -hmm. the black and white one um but this was also during the um the economic crash mm -hmm. uh, right during that period where like nothing sold in general but uh I think I don't know if I'd mentioned it on here. I didn't mention it with this shoe, but it was one of those ones where you'd get sent it, and you'd get sent like two size runs, so it's two boxes. Mm -hmm. We didn't sell one pair. Wow. Of wow. those shoes, and what they would do is call the RTV return to yeah. vendor. Yeah. Yep. Um, RTV. So, annoying task. So super annoying. So the task thing was is back then is that uh, oh. I worked in this very small um, square footage store, mm -hmm. so like our back room was like so tight that like you just didn't have actually have room to put shoes on so the like you at your home now yeah but on the mm. on the floor yeah not on the floor like in the, in the stock room in the stock room there was no space on the stock room wall mm. so you'd have to like kind of just leave the shoes in the um in like the, in the yeah in like the walkway <sighs> out back and you'd leave them in the box right yeah and then the shoes would get RTV'd, and yes. you're like, yes. they never even came out of the cardboard box. That they no, were but to you're you. like, yes. the only annoying thing was is that you cut like the top of the box off because uh -huh. you just leave it in there like that, and you're like, yeah. I wish I didn't even cut the top of the box off yeah. on these shoes because I could have just shipped the whole thing back. <laughs> Return to sender. Yeah. Return, RTVs were annoying because it would be like, get the print down. They're like, hey, you have twenty pairs of this. You have twenty pairs of yeah. this sneaker in Go the find store. It. You'd get to 18, and you'd be like, oh, I'm going through it. And it would be like- This is in the stock room. In the stock room. They have like sections. So it's like, oh, 10, 5, like right here. Yeah. And then you get to 18 and be like, oh, there's two more. 
And Where it's like they? you could never find the last, the last two. two. They probably weren't there. The other good part, though, about RTVs is like it was where you would spend a lot of days in the stock room. Even if you didn't work stock, mm -hmm. it was like just a task and you would find some gems that were out of order. I remember like those are the days I found like this tan brown leather uh, SC Premium Air Trainer, mm -hmm. like the Bo yeah. Jacksons. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like you would yeah. find gems that shouldn't have been in the store for super, super cheap. But RTVs, <laughs> Return to Vendor, is such a well, that's where, tough like, task. Most of the shoes at the time, because I feel like nowadays Nike almost like plans for things to be in outlets, like from the jump. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go there, there's like brand new shoes that are like $10 off. Like, sure. Or they're even like the retail outlet in a shoe is at retail prices. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like that. Like they're almost like built just to like you be lose in that money on the gas that you spent to drive there. Yeah, but the, yeah, the but these shoes would get shipped to the outlets. That's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I want to know. We're getting a little off topic. We'll get back yeah. to the question. But speaking about and one and selling them at retail, was there a certain kind of consumer that would come in for these? Did you get the sense that it was the the real hoopers? Like, <laughs> no, I don't even think so. They were moving so crazy and. Uh, Tom Austin, who I think came up with the idea for the Tai Chi, basically the Tai Chi, we'll, we'll put it up, but it's basically two colors flip yeah, yeah. flopping on. And he it's was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he was like, I did it because when I grew up as a fashion statement, people were wearing two different pairs of sneakers. Hmm. So, like, one side would be white and then yeah. the other side would be red. But I don't think it was like, I think it was just everyone. <laughs> Why was are you laughing? No, I'm just like, I think everyone thinks the the one thing you remember the most about. And one is like you'd go to Foot Locker and they have all the and one t shirts. Yeah. The trash talk. Yeah, dudes. the slogans. It, it, yeah, it's like uh, get on the bus because I'm about to take you to school. Really? You guys should like really that. watch the doc. They went into that. Like, Here's they, the thing. They went into that a lot. The slogan t shirts. I uh, feel like the thing lot. people remember most about and one or I had hoped was the digital version of me they made when I uh, that came a little later and that one came event a little later this year they made the nft of me the, you know cooking you know, just... that wasn't in the doc but i think the director's <laughs> cut i think because yeah. i looked i was Special looking features. i was looking also at the end credits i was waiting i looked in the end credits waiting for that name. the good thing is it gives us an opportunity to put that in this <laughs> so, so put the video yeah up. exactly now, <laughs> yes. now you can go to the youtube exactly. the, iron, the exactly. irony of those and one t-shirts and this is going to go full circle so just give me one second the irony of those and one t-shirts is they were always like you said like these uh disrespectful trash talk they were yeah. they were but on full size run we had our friend nems yeah who Don't said he had me. the and one stefan marbury's back in the day because yeah. stefan marbury from Coney Island, yes. but it's funny because Nems yes. don't ever disrespect me. Which he kind of did to you. But yeah. No. Anyways, but <laughs> I feel like a, a, some of those his don't ever disrespect me's are kind of. I'm not saying they're inspired yeah, yeah, yeah. by, but kind of really? like the, kind of like the and one. Wow, you're in really the same trying genre. to connect that. <laughs> Coney Island. I, I see the thread. Okay. I see the thread. I'm the, with you on this. One. All right. The <laughs> yeah. slogans. The slogans were. Uh, yeah, very, it reminded me of the No Fear kind of those yeah, shirts that yeah. era. Big dog, you remember a couple big dog <laughs> exactly, tees in the stash? Exactly. The crazy ones were the Big Johnson t shirts back in the day. <laughs> the Joe's reaction. I don't know about that, but I could. Yeah, I vaguely. I could uh, ascertain. Uh, should we get back to, to uh, let's get back to yeah? Let's get back away? to this qu this question. Uh, what sneakers were popping when you, the host, were in high school? And I think that you know, I like this question. I didn't want to. We don't want to do make it too redundant. So mm -hmm. like. I always talk about, um, oh, this was like, yeah, high school, ninth grade, Air Max 97 was like the grail. I remember like and first And you saw other school. kids at, at school with them? I on. remember that was my first day pair of shoes for ninth grade. But also I remember like one of my OGs, Christian, who was older than me, was like, yeah, I got those too. And it was like a big thing. But going back to like my high school, what we were doing because we were running track is we would get – you always had to get like separate shoes for track sure. practice sure, and then sure. one that you would wear in during school. But like the hustle with the parents was like you kind of the function of the track shoes you didn't really care about. You wanted like oh, as cool as yeah, possible. Yeah, you wanted yeah. to interchange so you wanted running shoes. Exactly. Really you wanted cool, yeah. like like you wanted to interchange them a little bit to where like you could wear these. You in didn't school. want something like this exactly. on, on foot, but it'd be like your track shoes. Exactly. Yeah. So you actually act out here like sacrificing a little bit. Your performance. A little bit. See, That's why. See, this is why you may yeah. never make it to Lady in the Grand. I know. You see me out there cranking out miles on the Oregon coast. And I'm in the Nike Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent. I, We're not out here in retro footwear, Joe. Uh, I'm wearing, you know, wear. and you know what? I'm, I'm probably wearing like what, <laughs> you're, you're, you're in those technical runners. What am I? I'm in the, 
Arthur Carr Solomon's or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Just a or, full or fit. No, no, Big Big Joe is like going to go running in like Air Max two seventies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you cannot wear two seventies on this team, bro. No. He so kicked wait, off the team. Hold on. What's the foot? What else footwear was on the team? I was actually interested in that. Yeah. Um, who? Wait. Do you have to wear Nike? Mostly Nike stuff. No, right? you don't have to wear Nike. A couple people who work at Nike are on the team, but okay. I think but I feel like everybody wore Nike. Yeah, a lot of next percent. Some like uh, React Infinity, maybe. Yeah. I'm just showing up in the Lorenzo G95. <laughs> <laughs> but getting back to the question, okay, sorry. Okay. Couple that I want to bring up that fit into like that track kind of hybrid. Yeah. You know what I was wearing a lot? The Reebok DMX. Really? Yeah, Reebok yeah. DMX, the 10, which was like... And you ran in them. Steven Smith. The standout. Yep. And then even like, there was like, the, I think it was the Reebok DMX 2, or they just said like 2001, but it was like these, okay. it was such a big, mo like a lot of people were wearing those, and I was like interchanging them for track practice and school. Uh, Air Zoom Citizen, first day of mm -hmm. finish line is what like I wore. Uh, the other one that was such a Bayshore High School staple. And, of course, people know from a couple episodes ago, or maybe it was last week, exactly when Joe was in high school because he yeah. just had the 26-year And they commented. They did the math. They commented. Reunion. Yeah. <laughs> so go on. But <laughs> it was a 26-year reunion, right? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> it was 21? Wait. Am I bugging because I, like, I just connected this? Isn't, isn't, <laughs> isn't Bayshore the name of the high school in Saved by the Bell? Bayside. Bayside. Oh. Close. Bayside, Queens. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we we got to go on another tangent here. We're okay. so deep right now, but somebody did message me because there is somebody more famous than you who uh, went to Bayshore High School. LL Cool J. Is that right? No, no. you. Said, we had this conversation. You said LL Cool J is not a real EPMD. Bayshore, not a real Bayshore. EPMD person. Really? Er Eric and Parrish went there. Um, uh, notable alumni. Harvey Milk. Yeah, human rights activist. Elected. Is that Wikipedia? Supervisor, District Five of the City. Uh, what? Is yeah. That yeah. I didn't make the Wikipedia. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's weird. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say Harvey me? Milk. Do you want me to add you right now? To the Wikipedia. Okay, where okay. were we? Uh, <laughs> just, I digress. <laughs> make sure the IP doesn't come from Complex. <laughs> uh, you know which one, though? That We're back in high school? Yeah. Okay. Real quick. That multiple colors. It was such – sold so many working at Finish Line. Tons of friends wore them. Adidas Oswego. Oh, yeah. Really? The original that, Oswego? Yeah. Was that big – Near yeah, you? The, I'll be honest with you. Oh the boy. only shoe Let that like know. this one, this was the one. But go ahead. I'm not going to say anything that I wore it during high school because like you can. We, I've spoke about that so many times. Nice. And this, uh, I this, guess so. Like the colors would change very slightly. Yeah. And everyone was wearing them. I guess. Um, I mean, I've spoken about all the shoes that I wore in high school. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think they're worth listing because I don't think uh. that like. At least I don't remember back then, like, the stuff that I was wearing wasn't really the stuff that, like, other people were wearing at the time. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, that's what everyone was wearing, like, yeah, where I grew up. The, you had the cool shit. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to say like that. It's just, like, it's just, like, the stuff that I was into wasn't, like, yeah. the stuff everyone else was wearing at the time. But the one thing I just remember back then, it's, like, if you have to pick one sneaker out of my head or, like, maybe, th like, two and a half sneakers out of my head mm -hmm. that are, uh, remind me of that era mm -hmm. was nike shocks okay i remember like in like i'm talking like f the full nike shocks okay um the f like the full ride ones yeah, yeah, which yeah. are disgusting you hate shocks <laughs> yeah well they're, they're I'm, I'm with you on they're this. awful shoes yeah uh, um, new martine rose shocks more of those coming out next year by the way go on okay. uh you had those and i would say super like tied super loose broed out New Balance five seven fours. Okay, and tons two the, for eighty nine. The one, the one you'd see that was this was slightly after high school, mm -hmm. but the one I th feel like that took this took the spot of that, and mainly mainly because they went on sale in one of the nastiest shoes of all time. Wow, oh, do you have any guesses? Um, hold on, after high school, same Nike. No, uh, New Balance five seven four zips. Those uh, I don't remember. I'm not. I'm not. You can Google. It. It's basically it's not a new, collab with the restaurant, is it? New Balance. <laughs> <laughs> tried to make their version of a shock. Okay. And it was will you, called, will you pull a picture of it? Was oh, sorry, zip, it was called Zip Technology. Yeah, <laughs> Zip Tech. Um, they did a basketball shoe. There's an infamous video online of Matt Bonner wearing a pair of the New Balance Zips and like the whole sole coming off of the oh, shoe. Wow. Uh, well, at least like inbounding the ball. But there's New Balance. Do, I don't remember these at all. Will you show me? Yikes. 
These? Uh, that's the zip, but there was like a five. There was a five seven four upper mm -hmm. that just had that zip sole. And on. you remember seeing those all over the place in high oh, school? Oh yeah, they well right after high school. Okay, okay. Uh, this is like two thousand and like six, but they were like twenty nine ninety nine. And uh, that was the only reason anyone was buying them. The 574, this was big two for 89 era. Yeah. But the 574s, I know that you're not a big, fan of them. Big uh, pop collar polo. Well, also, this was like the go to, this color, and then the two tone navy blue and royal blue. But this was like, and I remember, apologize to my Mets fans, Ben Felderstein earmuffed it for me. I wore this with a, <laughs> definitely wore this with a Phillies hat. I can see it. <laughs> oh, wow. But this was the cranberry yeah. was a classic color. Mm. But like, Five seven fours, super loose. Maybe a pair of uh, cargo shorts, mm -hmm. uh, polo shirt, mm -hmm. like two sizes too big with the collar popped. Maybe a white with fitted. a white tee under. No, right? white fitted. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that I'm not. I did not. You would not yeah, catch yeah, yeah, yeah. me in that, yeah. or at least to that degree. Yeah. But that was like a very of that era. Yeah. And the white fitted got to be a little dirty, too. Ooh. Okay. Off white fitted. <laughs> what about you? I feel like you, like... <sighs> yeah, I mean, poor... I, I have a hard time remembering what other people were wearing in mm -hmm. high school. So I can only really speak to, like, the shoes that I was super into at that time. And, like, pre-hopping on the Nike Wave, I always wanted a pair of, like, puffy skate DC shoes. skate shoes. Nice. Yeah, you know, like, I definitely inherited a pair from my friend Brock. You know, like a, a really nice, like, then he was an actual skateboarder, like a nice, had some heft to it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But, yeah, I, I I struggle to think of what other people were wearing, but just for me, that was the era when we got super obsessed with Nike SB Dunks and mm. being on PickYourShoes.com all the time or being Classic. on Flight Club all the Classic. time and, and wondering how we could ever have the amount of money it took to buy those shoes. And also going to the other sites and, like, realizing – what the fake sites were and I, I remember there was one site that had a lot of like you could buy any sb dunk for 99 bucks and like yeah. bait hoodies too and i remember my friend actually i mentioned him on here recently adam that he he had like emailed them being like i know the sbs you have are fake but like are these bait hoodies fake as well because you know we were yeah. high school kids and we didn't know any better and they totally. sent them back some uh, you know some outraged email being like how dare you of course all this stuff is authentic it, it wasn't and he definitely bought a fake bait hoodie from there <laughs> it, it's that brief moment of like wow i just stumbled on yeah. gold and it's <laughs> yeah. like wait a minute and you're no not way. You're, you're at that no moment way. in your sneaker you know journey you're not smart enough to know better but yeah th that was it in high school for me dunks and i had to graduate from the 6.0s to the dunks i think i said on here before you like did I wear 6.0 yeah i had the um i think nike 6.0 maverick yeah. 2 was probably like yeah, in like a lemon chiffon with like a little like a <laughs> like a plaid treatment, you know, nice okay. Easter shoe. Yeah, six point oh. Yeah, like I was big, waiting. Uh, yeah. No, like big, just like pack sun energy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yes. for sure. And then yeah, graduating to buying SB Dunks from I think uh, what is it Active? Yeah, Active. Oh man, active so good. Shop. Yeah, CCS yeah. Active. You were just browsing. Yeah, yep. and and you know for sixty five dollars, which was just like to get sixty five dollars, you know, was a big deal. Mm -hmm. So. That that's that's what that era reminds me of the most. Yeah, I mean, for us growing up like skating, it was like SB had come out in two thousand and two. Right. So, do you remember when you were were you aware remember, of it I at remember that seeing, point? I remember seeing the very first Nike SB ads. They were always like the second to last ad in Thrasher magazine. Okay. And it was like the original like um they had this series of ads. I'm sure you could like look them up now where it's like who my inspiration was and I forget who like maybe it was like Reese Forbes and like it was like him or him and like Vinnie Ponte were like together in an ad and it was like oh this is like my OG or like my Okay. Okay, yeah. So one skater with an older skater who yeah. helped usher in that same style. Yeah, but they uh I feel like for us, it was like we were skating before SB was a thing. And even when SB came right out, people didn't like jump. Of course. Like, people yeah. were like very skeptical yeah. of it because it was like Nike and mm -hmm. like there was this whole like jocks versus like when I was like a freshman in high school, there was, there was like fights where it was like jocks versus skaters. Really? Like 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 in a movie? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like it, this this sounds like it's made up, but I remember it was like after school, it was like we're gonna meet up and like, oh, fight like the, the beta video. It was like we're gonna fight the football team. <laughs> Big West like, Side Story energy. Were you <laughs> I, yeah, the leather on? Were, were you involved? I just remember like I was there with my friends and like they did it. Yeah. And I remember I was on this the This is what he told the principal too. No, 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 no. Yeah, I was on the pointing. I was on the football <laughs> team. Right I was on the football team like freshman year. Wait, oh, we never knew that. I this. didn't know that. High school. What position? Uh tight end. Okay. But like 
all my friends who skated like hated all the football kids but i was like still on the football team yeah. so it was like this weird like you had to pick sides like in between moment yeah one dc shoe in <laughs> one dc shoe out <laughs> yeah i just i just remember like it was like one day after school or something like that and like they were they were like because like, our school was like downtown um we're all leaving going to the skate park and there's like a bunch of jock kids or whatever and like one of the skater kids just like ran up and like punches him wow. in the back of the head and wow yeah it like i just remember <laughs> pick your shoes all those websites you know there's a classic that Andrew, the one, my friend who still thinks that the, the, the green bean five green is spray painted, spray, yeah, yeah, spray, yeah. spray painted on. You know what he still uses, and he'll send me twenty three. Oh, according to twenty three is back. I'm like, I, no disrespect, <laughs> oh, obviously, never, never. iconic, foundational. Website. Yes, I'm like, you know, I work for Complex. Oh. It, he'll still send me twenty three <laughs> is back dot com so, release dates uh, for Jordans, which was like the standard, and yeah, I still yeah, think yeah. it's like updated. That's and impressive. Hit, hit, like the cool grays were coming back, right? Yeah. We we knew it, and like we report on, still sends twenty three is back dot com. Like, bro, I had <laughs> I had a there was like um a discussion about that like twenty three uh, is back. Oh uh, no, just um so talking about like the early two thousands like sneaker era, mm -hmm. and I think that like it can kind of be like divided into like two parts when mm -hmm. it comes to um yeah this is. Sneaker culture within like 2005 to 2008. And I think one of the biggest dividers back then was if you bought sneakers at the mall versus buying sneakers from stores that weren't in malls. Mm. And I think there was like, I think maybe Wale had like bars about that where it was like, if you wanted all the quick strike stuff or the Nike SB, mm -hmm. you didn't go, you you knew that you can't buy those shoes at the mall like you didn't go to Foot Locker or Champ yeah. Sports to get them you had Finish to line. go you had to go to yeah. like the the niche like, yeah the energy accounts the yeah. 2 zero that accounts that came but, uh, Molders that came later in life yeah, uh, all my high saying. school was in Finish Line Foot Locker Athlete's Foot but it was like I'd put it out there I'm like oh well back then it was like to buy from like Tier Zero or SB or Skate Shops you kind of like had to be more like in the know or know the people at the yeah. stores to kind yeah. of either know when the release dates were or get like the homie hookup or mm -hmm. something like that versus like just going to the store and buying like GR Jordan releases. And there was people who only were into like the GR Jordan retro stuff at the time. And yeah. they're like, that never happened. You just went to Foot Locker and you knew what the release date was and or you went to 23 is back. But I'm like, yeah, but if you were into different stuff, different mm -hmm. sneakers, and yeah, at the time you couldn't just go to Twenty Three Is Back and pick them up. So it was like right. at the time there was almost like these two sneaker cultures that kind of existed at the same time. And Interesting, maybe you, and you, you feel like they you were would separate. dip and dabble in like yeah. both of them, but they were almost like a little bit of two different worlds to some extent. Where you had the person who went and bought like the Quick Strike Energy shoes yeah. at a uh, Concepts Bodega, yeah. uh, undefeated. Stuff like that versus like just going to Foot Locker and getting countdown packs during that era. Yeah. The yeah. yeah the skate shops. It was like even skate shops. I feel like I I knew them, but like the Chris Vidal's of the world that you had to every you had day. To, yeah, yeah, still called yeah. every day for for releases. And then I think another thing besides like twenty three is back. Nike Talk with the release dates of helped course. everything. Everything was Nike Talk. I remember just going into work and it was like printouts of Nike Talk message board that we were getting information from. Not wait, even, wait, 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 not wait. Not even from Eakins. You, when you were working at Finish Line, were referencing Nike Talk to find out when stuff was coming out. Definitely. You didn't have any like harder release date info than that from the brands so, or anything? Sometimes they knew before, mm -hmm. uh, definitely sales associates, but yeah, even managers. Yeah. It's like, there was because always like I the like one kid in the store that like knew like everything. I feel like when mm -hmm. it came to like that era where it was like everyone working at the stores like wasn't a sneakerhead back then. Yeah, or, yeah like that's true to the degree of like and, no, knowing all the cool stuff. Yeah. And obviously we, we we could do a full Nike Talk episode, but the knowledge that they had compared to even like sales associates who who thought that they knew tons of things. If you were a Nike <laughs> Talk kid, you knew yeah. like everything, and a lot of them like accumulated great collections because they were in the know like still people who i worked with decades ago like i know they have such classic yeah. shoes because they were always in always nike on talk. the right or like thread. where do i get these things you know where yeah. it's they like knew. you knew, knew nike where, talk outlet thread boy I you knew where you there. got like 
the retro Jordans and yeah. stuff like that. But it was like the other shoes. It's like, where do I get those? And I feel like yep. that's what I'm talking about in that era okay. where it's like they were all cool shoes. And maybe if you look back now, there's maybe not as big of a divider between like if you had like a retro Jordan or like mm. a, a cool Air Max 90 back then but if you wanted like some of those shoes that were like a bit harder to find yeah you couldn't just buy them at the same stores as you were getting just like the still cool i'm not like right discounting any of those but shoes marketed differently and created for and different... nike was a much different i feel like at that period yeah. much bigger separator of like mm. where these shoes were allocated to where it's like nowadays it feels like you can get like a travis scott air jordan one from Foot Locker. yeah I mean, it's just totally different. Like, we were hypothetically thinking, like, or based off this question, what would be the first day of school shoes for you right now? Right now? Think about it. Try to put yourself back. Oh, isn't it, it so tough to think? It's what... very tough because everything has changed. But the, and the, I no, but like... the idea of, like, mm. the one shoe. Well, the one, I was thinking about this. Mm. If I was a kid going back to school, like, what would be the shoe for, like, a ninth grader right now that, tra what, Mocha, Travis Scott ones? Yeah. Like guess, yeah. you're you're coming into to, school to the crazy. first day yeah. and you're just stunting. I feel like though, like if you it's so, it's so tough to get, but I feel like like a neon Air Max ninety five would be good. But I'm wondering like what is the school shoe in high school like Panda to have Panda right Dunks? now? Panda, Panda Dunks. Dunks. You're right. Yeah, probably. I feel like probably. that's a, the right I, accessible I would, one. Right? I would feel like at least for me. It would be like something like uh, an like an accessible like yeah. Air Max Retro that like you could. That's like, why I said ninety five, but or like an infra, like infrared ninety, yeah, like retro, yeah. exactly, or like the structure Triax Retro that Ooh. came back. Did or, you buy those? I think we the had blue the discussion with the white? on it. You would give. I think you would hook me up with the or you had or someone else would hook me up with like the link or the discount code or something like that. It was on like Hibbert Sports or something yeah. like that, and I had bought the shoes. And they got mangled at one of the UPS like sorting centers oh. and like the shoes, like they had to refund me on it because I guess they got stuck in like the conveyor belt and the box got ripped. Whoa. Yeah, I guess also let's And you never replaced them. No, they okay. just like yeah, yeah. refunded my account. I guess also Yeezy three fifties probably a lot. Yeah, sure, right? sure, sure. Yeah. First day? Yeah, I could see that. That's interesting. I'm one like it's very interesting. We gotta go do a survey. Man on the street. Isn't that not interesting or No, I, no, no, like, it is. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm really yeah. interested to see like what it was such a big thing for us what it would be this year. Panda Dunks. Well, it's different because it's Because like, it's not like New Balance. Let's be honest. It's not like 992s. No, different, no I would like, think not. You know no, what I mean? But it's like. This is just a bunch of old guys trying to figure right, out what right, right. like. I think in <laughs> the, maybe this. I don't, know, I don't know if this will like uh, shed some light on it. I remember having Larry June on Full Size Run. And he was talking about like shopping for his kid nowadays. And he's mm. like. We don't like go out and go school shopping. He's like, he just sends me a bunch of links and he goes, doot, 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 you know, like, <laughs> um, but you know, it's like his kid knows what he wants. Yeah. And he sends him the stock X link and he, and I don't, his kid I, should be shopping on eBay. I don't think, he, I don't think he alluded to uh, it being, oh, like buying like thousand yeah, dollar shoes yeah, yeah. or whatever, but just like, these are the shoes I want, like a 350 or something like that. And you yeah. can just buy them here. Interesting. White on white Air Force Ones, hope you know, of black. Course. Yeah. The, the fresh pair. Fresh pair for first day of school. Or I think even if you go to like, I think maybe a more accurate representation of it would be, at least for us right now, because being in Times Square, that there's sure. a handful of sneaker JD, stores yeah. right here. Go into the JD Sports and just kind of see, see yep. like the coolest shoe on the wall that you can find. That's yeah. why I'm looking at Foot Locker right now and seeing like. That's that's what my guess would be. Or I love, I'm, I've mentioned out here, I love going to 34th street macy's Foot Locker. i love going to 34th street macy's too yeah. in my opinion greatest store in new york city if you really want to come, yes okay they have little i know you can't buy like ald and whatever there that's okay <laughs> sorry buddy yeah, yeah. Okay. but they have every they have like a like a shop and shop for like every mm -hmm. single brand that you i almost never go i know you're a fan i feel like oftentimes if you're wondering yeah. where wealthy is after work he's at the sometimes at you get flicks Macy's. off don't you there too oh yeah try I, something on yeah. and take a photo of your <laughs> by the way we're we're kind of all over the place i don't mind that but should we mention the shoes we're wearing on well feet? yeah we, we missed the opportunity because you said the black and purple oh shirt. sorry but what did you end up wearing ended up wearing um i feel like this 
I don't want to be labeled as the John Cayano guy. Don't worry about it. Just say but I'm just wearing into it. it. It's a, yeah. is it, are these shoes a meme right now? A little bit, maybe. Right for like a New York like yeah. internet yeah. fashion thing. So what are you wearing? I'm wearing the <laughs> John Cayano 14s. Nice, great to have shoe, you. great shoe. Yeah, not that different from a regular Cayano 14. I will agree with that, <laughs> but it's a clean shoe. That whole white white mesh. People love those. People think that they're up there for like sneaker of the year contention. I like these whoa, ones more. People whoa. people people have been asking me about this. Maybe get your opi guys opinion on yep. it cuz there's the two colorways. I don't really like the white like the silver one. Do you guys like that one or not? I don't know that I've paid close enough attention there's, to know the there's difference. There's this where it's like the white and black and yep. then there's kind of like an all silver pair. I'll take the silvery one over this. Okay. They're cool. I don't know if they're Top ten of the year. But well, people, it's, a, it's a white shoe, so yeah, that's true. That's true. Joe, if this was if this DQ. was a if this was somehow a darker shade, what would you? We'll see. Maybe. Or diet go uh, like I you did. The, I'm setting you up. I'm setting Loren, you up for this. Loren's, nice. Um. Yeah, you're setting the alley up. I nice. appreciate it. Uh, I'm wearing. I've been wearing these a lot. Uh, I got them last week. I picked them up from Tyler, Arab Lincoln, mm -hmm. Mansoor. Yes, Tyler, who shot these. Beautiful shots that are going to go up. We're waiting on one more pair. I've been wearing up. And then I got to stop. Lorenz, Dude. Lorenz, I love you, but I got to stop. CDG Sunder Max. The CDG Sunder Max. Um, Custom, guy. yeah. Really like these. And I'm really like, I told him, I told Lorenz, I'm going to wear yeah. these. Like, also, you know what I what I did <laughs> recently? First trips on the city bike I've been doing. Okay. The electric yeah. one or you like the No, not the electric one, but yeah. I was, we were in the a Zoom um meeting and i was like yeah i did the city bike and people were like oh the electric one i was like no i didn't do that you can really were like, fly well that's the game changer city bike the electric you, one can you tell can we talk about the tweet that you sent us someone said they saw you in public oh yeah the calves right yeah <laughs> we go, i saw jlp in public and, <laughs> and he has the biggest calves i've ever seen in my life <laughs> yeah yeah that's true listen cdg sunder max yes. wearing these a lot shots to lorenz i gotta chill out though Half my shoes are dyed now, okay? <laughs> well, it, testament to great job that he's Dying doing, I think. Day. I don't know if I could say, but working on some, you're working on something with him? Yes. Cool. Nice. And to my left, fresh off from Portland. I did these again. Oh, I, doubled I, up. This is I would never do this generally. Pata Air Max 1, the white wave pair. Like I said, I had to bring the waves to the beach. I was wearing them out there. I had to coast. But I'm wearing these because... I wanted to see how they look when we shoot them for the sneaker cam and how well I cleaned them up because... Do I'm, I'm trying to maybe I'll turn beat Air Max white I'm Air Max so, ones into a thing, but like how clean do they look? They you used a um, sneaker I'm, shop. I'm, I'm so, so <laughs> we had this conversation the other last week. Yeah, I'm so confused by yes. this shoe because from here yeah. it looks forward. like it's patent leather. It's a weird material, but it's not. It's not. But it looks like it 100 percent on the back. No, on the toe. Box. On the, I mean, on the mud and guard. both. Look at the yeah. toe. It's like shiny. I couldn't uh, it figure it out. Like it's not. It's not the easiest to clean, but at least from here, there's like a reflection off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I basically I wore these because I wore them as the other shoe I wore during Hood to Coast when I wasn't in my running sneakers and I would switch into these. And you know, we're like on the side of dirt roads walking yeah. through gravel. I saw you had the dogs out at like <laughs> just letting them breathe in the middle of the night. <laughs> Why not? Um, shirtless, the shirtless IG yep. posts. Yeah, like it. yeah, we um, I held back. There's some more shirtless photos, but okay. um, those would be uh, on my you know, you can do the IG only, subscription thing now. Fans? Yeah, um, <laughs> but basically, so I, I got these quite messed up. You know, the first weekend, and I don't know if that's like a bad look, but I there was like at one point somebody else's Birkenstocks I think had been sitting on top of them, and you could just see the Birk tread oh, on on the mud guard of my Air Max One. So basically, I wanted to see how much I could I could clean them up. So uh, I hope that they look okay. Is, is this like a foreshadowing for like some sort of like uh, shoe cleaner sponsorship that you're gonna unveil directly to camera? Um, is there no? Um, I don't have anything in the works, but uh, I'm a I'm a free agent when it comes to sneaker cleaners if you, right me now. Too. If, oh, I'll actually, be, I do. I have been talking to some people, but let's mm. see. I, I'm 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 a fan of wearing your shoes, but with that model, if you turn those into your next like uh, like cooked crispy uh, like uh, bait Reeboks, yes, yeah. I'm going to be like disappointed. You, in you. So if I turn cooked white Air Max ones into a thing, you're gonna you're gonna be mad. That's a yeah. weird. One to cook, no, 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 no. Yes, I, I don't want to do it. Like weird, but like... wealthy again, I clean them off immediately okay. after the weekend, like multiple times. So please More don't. To me, please don't be upset. Anything more? I've been going through this lately, talking about uh, 
finding shoes. Mm -hmm. Would you have like a pair of shoes that, you know, they were in your rotation for like a summer or whatever, mm -hmm. and you never thought that they got like too cooked, but you yeah. know, I wore them probably like mm -hmm. 15 times or something yeah, like that. wearing them out, not caring that much. Yeah. About and then you put them in condition. a box or whatever, and then five years later, you open the box, and I don't know what happens, but yeah. they look like I. Dude, I'll never wear these. Went to warn them. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll never wear these things again. And you're like, but I was wearing them that whole time, and they never got too crazy. Yeah. I don't know what happens. I, I know like, that feeling. You pull something out, and you're like, did I really, did I really cook them this put, much? Put or it's like the midsole's like this? dirty and like a little compressed, and yeah. you're like, oh, I don't want to put those the on. The suede's a little stiff, a little yeah. crackly or something like that. Yeah. Not a good feeling. Speaking of shoes that um, I wanted to bring this up, uh, that the... I don't want to say like dyed movement, but dirt and all that sort of things. Mm. I think that those RF times RF. Pretty cool. Uh, on. Yeah. Tennis shoes. Ronnie Feig. Roger Federer. Pretty cool. Which was originally teased or brought up on Complex. Time v out. V v Time out. Teased or did you guys assume that that no, was going to happen? I didn't say. I didn't. No, no. I didn't say. I'm, you don't know where I'm going with this. It, we had mentioned before. It was on Fashion Bros. Ronnie Feig's episode of Fashion Bros. They were showing him logos. Wow. Nine, ten years ago? They were showing him just random logos, and you're like, would you collaborate with them? Would oh, you collaborate wow. with them? And they pull up the RF, Roger, Roger Federer, Federer, and he's like, hmm, it's like the initials are the same. And that was all those years ago. But now wow. I don't but I don't know if that like even more spoke. recently we, we spoke yeah, to Ronnie Feig so on this podcast. You brought it up, yeah. like, would that make it did you guys you guys yeah, didn't yeah. know, did you? Let's, yeah. Sure, I knew. Yeah, we knew. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm saying, but like, and it, hap yeah, yeah, it yeah. happened. Yeah, it happened. That's why I thought when you said tease. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. But, but you like those a lot? So An on sneaker? Because an on sneaker put, is a hard you know, sell. You, could, you know you could rub clay on them. That's what I'm about to, that's what I'm about to say. Sorry. So I think that there's well, some cool colorways in it. Go. Some cool colorways in it. I think that <laughs> those Roger Federer uh, ones get more of a pass than the regular on cloud shoes or whatever yeah. they're called. Because they don't look the same. Sure. They don't, Passive, like, they, they don't look like you're just like some like old like white European they, tourist. They get a like, pass in that wealthy's not going to tweet about you if you wear them. God, I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever said anything negative about. I remember I've tweeted about the whole on shoe yeah, uh, yeah. trend, but they don't look like those sneakers, yes. right? They look like a something different. But there's the pair that like you can smash the red clay from the court all over okay. them, and there's a few pairs that are kind of like pre. Pre, -di not, I don't mm -hmm. want to say died, but they look have that like kind of like. A so we're just on writing. We're, it looks like on. that coffee, like people dip the. Dyed we're just writing the Packer version of that out of history when they did it on the Reebok pump. No, those are cool Rolling too. Garros? I'm not. I'm not saying that, but I had, had to throw that in there for my Packer people. Yeah, that was probably 2000. That was the Michael Michael Chang. Eleven shoot. or 2012. Clay? You could rub clay on it. No, it, it had yeah. like the flex. Oh. Sorry, it, it, it's not, yeah. It was the original OG color version of the shoe, but it had like a fake clay finish yeah. to the shoe. But I think that the RF squared Reebok Court Victory Pump, yeah, the, the tennis it. one, obviously. I think that the RF squared shoes in, rubbed in the clay look cool. You I'm surprised. Get out of the courts? I'm surprised that that's the shoe summer. for you. No, I'm not. Would a, I'm, not a, I'm not a tennis guy. <laughs> okay, I actually never played tennis. Table tennis? I played table tennis. Yeah. yeah. I played. Could listen, you beat could you beat Forrest Gump in a game of table tennis? You know who almost could? Justin Ballas. Have you ever seen him play? You could beat Forrest Gump. I've, I've played against Justin a decent amount. Have you beat him? Yeah, for sure. Wow. I mean, Justin, you must Justin's, be really good. Justin's because way I, better than me. Okay, because I thought I was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mario Kart, it's a pick 'em. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> coin flip? Yeah, it's a coin flip from okay, Justin, don't get it twisted. Mario Kart. But <laughs> <laughs> but I made it to like the semifinals. We used to do the um, yeah, 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 yeah. We used to have like ping pong tournaments. You're roasting them on Rainbow Road. Yeah, but no, getting to the ping pong, I like had a dr I drawed him in the semifinals at, at a complex. Wasn't close. He destroyed tournament. me. Yeah. So you must be good then if you beat him. I mean, I don't, I don't I regularly beat him. beat him. He's definitely up on me lifetime. But like, I'm okay. Okay. We had a we had a discussion talking about iconic and this is not foreshadowing but it's, i guess it's something down the line but just talking about iconic sneaker moments in general mm -hmm. um and we were talking about the nike cortez and there was people that we work with who were trying to say that cortez really isn't like one of the greatest nike shoes this or, is this is forrest gump related is that how the Cortez? Yes. yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. We, could be forrest gump. <laughs> so 
<laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Forrest Gump. But we were talking about like you know, oh, the Cortez didn't really like, st- or I didn't say it, but other people were trying yeah, to like our allude coworkers. to that the Cortez didn't really stand up the test of time, even though it's like the original Nike shoe or whatever. That's Anyways. Not, oh, that's a bad take. No, I know. I, I, that's what I, that's you what don't I say, like, too. You, oh, no, I didn't say that. Okay. I didn't what say what that. Say is that where, yeah. where do we I think? I like the Cortez. And then we had mentioned it, and I think it was the moment everyone forgot about, but we're like, the Forrest Gump Cortez sneaker moment, kind of yeah. like, where do you rank that all-time pop cultural? It's up there. Sne- top it's up 10? There. Top 10, top 5? I hate that movie, but... It's like seven movies in one. How can you hate it? Because it's not a movie. We've talked about this on here before, right? I don't want to give this hot take. This is no. not the time and place no, for no. it. Well, <laughs> no, no, a prompt. No, but no, we didn't. We didn't talk but, about you. But the Forrest movie? Gump sneaker moment. Yeah, it's yeah, up yeah. There. It's amazing. It's up there. I love that. I love that type of stuff. Top ten, maybe. It, we can foreshadow it. There's a lot of the Nike's going to redo the Cortez next year. Yep. They, they have a version of it coming that you know every some of these models where. The shape drifts from the original, and the materials maybe aren't that great. So they have some, I forget exactly what it's called, but there's going to be... Kind of like a remastered. Or yeah, a Cortez where they redo the shape and the tooling and get put a bunch of nice materials on it and things like that. So look out for that, 2023. Should we talk about other 2023 stuff? Can we throw some leaks out there? What is this guy? But it may be just... <laughs> like going the going to, maybe <laughs> one of the most photoshopped... What? Sneaker uh, moments oh, in history. Yeah, Forrest Gump. Where him sits uh, with Jenny on the yeah. porch. Yeah. Damn, put she did him dirty, Listen, man. we got off on a, a couple tangents. Oh, yeah. Chase Martinez. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase Martinez. Enjoy these classics. Chase Prada's America's Cup. Good question. Got us off on a tangent. Appreciate that. Chase, they're coming to you very soon. I want to drop some more leaks. May, may I? Yeah. Uh, I already told people about the metallic red phone posits. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, if if you hear about this stuff, if you're gonna write a little Link blog up. post about Link it, up. just like mention complex. Okay. Just like don't forget what you're. Uh, what about the blog who said uh, self-proclaimed sneaker man? <laughs> yeah, so, so, oh, that was on sneaker news. I like that. I like that. that. Yeah, they that, they, they called were... me a self-proclaimed sneaker it's man. Funny. I like that. Um, Stussy Nike Vandal, three colorways of those. Um, a bunch of Nike apparel. I think Nike's gonna push really hard into the. Uh, lifestyle apparel and try and make some like workwear type stuff and I think there was a plan mentioned internally like last year well to give it the thumbs down real quick about them wanting to make sneakers app to an extent a destination for apparel as much as it is for sneakers like if they can do supreme style apparel drops on the sneakers app that that would be a huge revenue unlock for them again this is something mentioned in passing so I'm, I'm not saying it's a huge strategy uh there's some cool corduroy air max ones or maybe just one pair a lot of Amero 5s. There's a Panda of Amero 5, which is a, there's like a tearaway. It's like a Amero 5, a Amero 5 color block, like a Panda Dunk. Uh, more Color of the Month Air Force Ones, Rifts, Women's Adjust Force. Well, we'll give you some more of these on the I website think, I in the coming weeks. I think this may but. end up being like a top five JLP shoe. The Stussy <laughs> Penny 2s, the black pair. Yeah, Joe's going to wear that shoe I got to add it in those a lot. Yeah. Max Struss and the, the Penny 2s, I got to add it. What are your thoughts on them, Joe? I like those. That's it? You like them? I'm more of a Penny 1 guy, though. You like Penny 1s? But that, bl- that penny black Penny 2 yeah. with the little Stussy on the... Yeah, you know I'm going to... You know. <laughs> when, when did those drop? Right in time for season 17 of Sneaker Shopping? Hey. For sure. Oh, my God. Um, what else has been going Looking on? Looking that forward to the season? Well, Said season 17 senior show. Oh my god, <laughs> no, that <laughs> wasn't, that wasn't that wasn't bad timing. That. No, that wasn't one thing I that. would say back to the Cortez. I saw both Union Cortezes on the street this weekend. Not a good shoe. I like them. I, I only like them. the, I still say I only like the, them. I really like the tan one, but only like the tan one. Shoe does nothing for me. Can I talk about a shoe I love? Yeah, Louis on Air Force Ones. <laughs> Did you get a pair? <laughs> no, I still don't have a pair, but we got to mention our guy Money Kicks. Oh, oh, stepping wow. out, wow. stepping out in the Louis Vuitton Air Force yes. One, the worst colorway. Yeah, and, and he got this is a, <laughs> he had the silver a Emirati purple sneaker and team. Content maybe he's, machine. Maybe, maybe he's not a teenager anymore, but no, he's not. Um, Three million views yeah. on his uh, full size run episode. Classic. Watch it. Is, is it the most viewed ever? Yes, it might be. Yeah, and this was actually maybe don't go watch it because it's so old that it probably doesn't hold up well. But. Um, he used to do this thing where he would wrap yep. like his car, you know, he'd he have some like luxury Supreme. vehicle. Yeah. Do it like a Supreme Louis Vuitton graphic on, on an Escalade or the Yeezy 350 boost on an Escalade. And <laughs> he popped out. Uh, yeah. In the. We live in life. Yeah. We live in life. Just, that was a just wrap my car to the Nike LV sneaker. And he made his. Uh, I guess this is an Escalade. I don't know if this is a new Escalade, but he made it look exactly like. Also, shout the out to the Air Force One with the lace even. Oh. <laughs> 
He, uh, yeah, he content machine doing uh, big things. He actually had his professional boxing debut over the weekend. Did he win? Took a big L. I don't think he got knocked out, but it was actual. He was on the Anthony Joshua Usyk oh, wow. card. I think wow. it was in the UAE, and it okay. was actually his professional boxing debut. There was okay. rumors he was going to fight Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was hyped because I was. <laughs> I was ready to fly out for that. I was, Were I was, you? And, yeah, I was going to go to Dubai if they, so, if, he, if money came. Can we <laughs> Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> can we? Can we? Can we bet just would you had uh, said to. Before the episode, what you said uh, one one of your it. biggest disappointments was not asking Fat, Fat Joe, Joe about his connection to to, to Russia to money kicks. We're, we'll we'll talk to Fat Joe again, and we will. Can we, we talk about Fat Joe? Oh, the, <laughs> I saw the that. private selection video. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. Fat Joe was at that sneaker shop, and he yeah. Apparently, apparently, one of the employees there is kind of bit my style, maybe or something. No, no, no. <laughs> no. They bit but, your style. <laughs> <laughs> Some he had a mustache. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, shout out to them and uh, appreciate the the nod on that and from 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 Joy Crack. But let's yeah, uh, money kicks. P- people, I I tweeted that photo out and I was like, this this locks it up. Sneaker of the year. Yes, that was a joke. People were like, are you kidding? This is the most tasteless thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not. That that, that isn't actually cool to me. Making your car look like a shoe. Yeah, that was it was a joke. He's a content machine. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? I keep on thinking about. Uh, oh no, I'm having to regret asking. The, that. When you were talking about looks like you, um, the guy at private selection. Yeah, this one he said, "We ain't." What did he say? We ain't done yet. Shout <laughs> out, done. <laughs> yeah. We're not done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's his name uh, from Mad Men? John. John Ham. Yeah. What's, uh, we look like. What's the character's name? Sorry. Um, of course it is. Yeah, I've never on. seen an episode of Mad Men. Uh, Don, Don Draper, Draper Don, says oh, somebody Don tells Draper. us off camera. Wow. Don Draper. There's, <laughs> of course. There's, there's the Photoshop of like the modern day Don Draper. Okay. And he has like the Don, like. Oh, some guy who works at Wyden or something. No, he has this, the haircut. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's like a meme going oh, around, you know, where out. it's just. The, the no cap bussin meme like that with, uh, with Einstein. Oh, that one's the funny same, too. Yeah, people tag me in that all the time. Oh boy. Oh no, maybe I maybe I should talk. About. I I just thought of something else uh, totally asinine that I got tagged in. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't. Uh, there was a tweet. Nike store. You guys probably saw this. I don't know who this person is, but Nike store tweeted out a pair of kukinis. Did you see? This? Oh wait, is those the ones <laughs> I put in the pixel ones? I don't know. This, this person goes. This person responds to Nike store. They tweeted out a pair of kukinis. They're just like yeah. They just launched. Did you see this, Wealthy? No. I, well, I saw it, but I forget what this it is. This guy goes, at the end of the year, when you see a stockpile of unsold kukinis, please remember that you should not listen to, all caps, oh, to Joe LaPuma, Matt Wealthy, and Brendan Dunn right. when they say they want something in retro. This is not oh, just a waste. This is an environmental disaster. As if, that. as if, first of all, that like the Nike people are like sitting there in the meeting being like, oh, what did they say they needed? And they scribble it I down and that. they make 10 million pairs. But also like that, that like our carbon footprint is exponentially greater because we're contributing to the I millions of sneakers that Nike is, is making, you know, like <laughs> what a, <laughs> like, yeah, that color, what a leaf favorite, the, but the aqua blue yeah, one is still those, stand by. The glitchy one isn't that great. Yeah. But I still, so there you go. We're, we're helping out the I environment. Also, Don't and, make them. I also, <laughs> but I also pitch, I can also picture the Kukini and I don't know this for a fact, yeah. but just being non sneaker head, shoe that like people are just like oh these are comfortable i'm gonna buy them and just wear them but i could be wrong man i mean when the last bit of the ozone layer burns off it's because of the pixel kukini yeah it's because it's because of this podcast it's because we said uh, did we ever we're we're not that influential (laughs) also like were we begging for the kukini to come back or uh, we, I kept on saying that I want the the OG, which I still okay. want to wear. Okay, so you're, it's your fault. Yeah, it's actually when, my when fault. When the human race goes extinct, <laughs> not Nikes. Um, Should be wearing space hippies, or you know, move to carbon zero. Yeah. Do we have anything else to discuss? I could tell I could tell a twenty minute story about this person getting kicked off the flight I was on on the way back to New York, but I don't Do know. No, nope. it's not that it's not that family friendly. I got, but as a result, I got a whole exit row to myself because this person was. Not totally compliant with um, okay. what was wow. going on on the airplane. Yeah. Thank no, you to my it. thank you to my that's Delta it. people. I think that's it. I think um... <laughs> you guys are both quickly like, no, no. We're, we're not talking about that. <sighs> that's it. Okay. That's it. 
all we have for you. All right, everyone. This has been the Complex Sneakers Podcast. Please like, subscribe. Hope everyone has a good weekend, long weekend for us. Yep. But we'll be back next week. Labor Day. Oh, yeah. And I'll be at the Ducks game. Long Island Ducks, where I used to work? I'll be in Georgia. Oh, okay. Enjoy that. Enjoy your holiday weekend. Georgia. We will see everyone next week. Georgia on my